Hey, what is up guys? Nordberg here, and I am going to show you all of my LG phones. So, like previously, you know that I make phone collection videos, but now I'll be doing them by brand. And for those that I don't have a lot of by brand, I'll just put into a separate video, because now my collection is starting to get bigger, as now I have 82 devices. So, let's get started with the first device being this LG let me zoom in on that by the way this is being recorded in 60 frames per second let me know if you like it so I just I don't know the model of this one so I'll take off the back and if it will focus come on it's an LG 305C. So, yeah. Pretty cool. I've had this one for about a year and a half, maybe. So, let's turn it on. Okay, so here you go, the LG 305C. It's in perfect condition apart from some scratches on the screen. So yeah, I'll just shut it off. Okay, on with the next device being the LG Optimus 6C2. So it's in basically mint condition except for what I'll show you right now and it's like an OS issue yeah if you'll do it on camera that is yeah there we go so yeah this phone is in a boot loop and unfortunately I do not know how to fix that so that's a shame so yeah, I'll just I'll just pop the battery out. Yeah, cause the, it'll just keep on doing that until the battery depletes. So yeah, on with the next phone being this LG on Virgin Mobile. Now I forgot what it is, so I'll take the back off yeah. wherever there's the thumbnail port I think it's right here if it'll let me take it off oh you know what screw it I remember what it is now it's an LG VM 101 it's either a VM or VN 101 and it will not turn on and I tried plugging it in and it just says hello and then goes to a white screen and then just keeps doing that so yeah what a shame the next phone is the LG Cosmos now this one is in is in good shape. I really like the color of it. So, yeah, it's got the slide out keyboard. It works perfectly. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay. So as you can see, works perfectly. Okay, 
on to the next phone, which is the same one basically as the 305C, but this one is the 306G, so don't be mistaken by that. So let's get this turned on. Okay. Okay, so this 306G works fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So, yeah. Let's shut it off. Okay. So, the next phone is the LG Cosmos 3. So, so I have the Cosmos and the Cosmos 3, but I do not have the Cosmos 2. This is actually the most recent device that's in my collection, the newest one, the newest edition anyways. So, one major difference between the two is that on the Cosmos, the keyboard slides to the right, and on the, the 3, it slides to the left. So, yeah, let's just get this turned on, and yeah. This one takes a long time to turn on, so bear with me. Yeah, the screen's kind of dirty. Sorry about that. Yeah, and when I say it takes a while, I I actually like mean it because it takes and you Okay, so now it seems to be booting quicker than expected. Might be stuck on the screen for a little bit. Okay, yeah. So as you can tell, it it's got a passcode on it and I do not know what it is. So that's a darn shame. So yeah, the next phone is my blue LG NV3, which opens up like this, or you can use it like this. Yeah, I took the battery from my red LG NV3 because this one, the blue one, does not have a passcode on it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll open this one like this. I'll boot it that way. So yeah, that is the LG NV3. Works perfectly. It's got a really nice screen when you flip it open. And a full QWERTY keyboard. So yeah. Let's just shut this one down. Wow, that's loud. So... Yeah, the next one is this LG Optimus Fuel, which works just fine. So yeah, runs Android KitKat, so it's pretty nice. And if you notice, even though I can't because I'm talking right now, but if you notice like the... The volume of me talking is like it goes from loud to like quiet is because I'm um is because I'm walking around while doing this. So like 
over here I've got my devices so yeah yeah let me just get this fixed okay yeah I had the brightness dimmed on this so charge so yeah the LG Optimus fuel works perfectly I did a review on this about a year ago so yeah Okay, um, the next phone is the LG VX8300. I do not have a battery for this thing. Well, I mean I do, but it will not work because it will say use a genuine battery. So I'll demonstrate that a little later. So I'll just set that one to the side there. And... On to the next phone, which is the LG 1010. This thing's a blast from the past. It's the oldest LG phone in my collection. I'm thinking it's somewhere around maybe 2000. So old that it's got this. Pretty nice. So, yeah. And then the next one, the LG 441G. This one's water damaged, but surprisingly still works, as you can see right here on the front screen. Let me get a little zoom on that. So as you can tell right there, it's like got water patches. So yeah. Yeah, I do not have a SIM card in this one, so it'll just take you take me to the insert sim screen so you can see down there it's got a little water damage so yeah okay yeah insert sim so yeah And then the next device is my red LG MV3. And like I said, this one has a passcode on it. So I'll just take the battery out of the blue LG MV3. Here. And put it into here. if I can put it in correctly so yeah the front screen on this one is all scratched up so I'll just open it and then turn it on yeah if you see these little marks in the corners of the screen right there it's because this phone had a screen protector on it and it left behind some residue So yeah, very nice screen. Yeah, locked. So I'll just turn this one off. Yeah, I don't even really care to charge this one. So yeah. The next device is this LG phone on Singular. So I forgot what the model is, so I'll just open it up and check. So, it's an LG C1300i. Pretty nice phone. So, yeah does not have a charge on it and 
then the next one is this LG on track phone. It's an old track phone, but I forgot what model it is. <clears throat> so I'll just check it. And it's an LG TFL G200CB, even though I just like to call it the 200C. So let's get this one turned on. So yeah, I really like that jingle actually. So yeah, the battery is low, so I'll just get it shut off. Yeah, this phone's in in pretty good shape. 